Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up this bad boy right here, Ultimus Masters, and we're opening up for a patron, Marcus Mills, aka Exotic MTG. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to bust in this, but no, a little ado. Side note, finally got, oh, there we go, finally got some of these. Um, there was a, a shipping error um, at my local game store, uh, so I had to wait a little bit to get them, but these are in, and I've got some extra copies to be given away, so just keep an eye out for that. So geeked about that. Magic Gathering finally back in comics. But anyways, uh, we're going to turn the camera on here. And we're going to go ahead and pop this box open. Good lord. That's some intense shrink wrap. All right. So, because of the nature of the video and time constraints and all that good stuff, we're not going to look at all the uh, commons and whatnot. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and pull all this stuff out and take... A look at the stuff that we really really want to see if I can actually manage to get it out holy cats having issues okay that's there all right now we're gonna take our packs here and line those bad boys up Ta -ta, just like that and then um we're going to start off with this because this is Chuck Wagon MTG, not Willpower MTG. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and start off with this and see what kind of good stuff. Oh man, I just, I hate. So flimsy with only one card. So flimsy. All right, let's see what this is going to be. The suspense is killing me. One, two, three. Whoops. Kitchen things. Not a bad one to get. Um, I'm going to jump over here to my list just real quick and kind of see where we're at with this. I don't think it's one of the super expensive ones. Um, oh. Okay, you know, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's uh, markets at 35. Markets at 35. So that is not too shabby. That's what you got there and... Um, okay, our camera just died. Uh, <laughs> I gotta figure out what's going on. We're gonna take a brief pause here, and we're gonna be right back with this. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, I honestly do not know what happened there. Um, I can't find any reason of why the camera would have turned off. But, anywho, we are back, and we're gonna start cracking these packs. Now, like I said, because for time constraints, we're gonna go ahead, and we are going to, uh, we're not gonna look through all the all the stuff you know first off let me let me do this here before i forget okay that's off to the side there all right so we got the token our foil is uh blood flow connoisseur in wow there's like virtually no foiling to that okay then our rare is male storm pulse uh let's see we got appetite for brains brawn helix Okay, nothing great. How you know him, bro? That's not too shabby. All right, so let's start. Oop, wrong one here. All right, we got the worm token. Uh, Vessel of Endless Threat. Man, the foiling on these are not good. All right, and our rare is Goro's Vengeance. Or uh, yeah, okay. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, okay, good. Okay, good stuff right there. So, I want to thank Marcus for being a patron, especially the level he is at. Because uh, he's been, <coughs> excuse me, our highest tiered patron uh, since he signed up. Uh, yeah, so that's greatly appreciated. Without him, there's a lot of stuff I couldn't be doing. So we got ourselves Unstable Mutation and a Fraxian Tower. Okay, not too bad. You know, this foil is slightly better, but man, the foiling on these are just... I mean, I'm not net knocking wizards, but I'm knocking wizards. Uh, Dawn Charm, Golgari Charm, Prismatic Lens. All right. 
Let's see what we get in this next one here. I uh, got a foil hyena umbra, not bad, and a vengevine. Okay, okay. Uh, that is our first mythic of the box, so we're gonna go ahead and move the tokens. Mythics right there, and consciousness boneyard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, there's a treasure cruise. I mean, I don't think it's worth anything, but reprinted like crazy. And ban that card. That was fun times. All right. All right, we got a Walker of the Grove, and, oh man, and just in time for the current unfocused, engineered explosives. That's good stuff right there. All right, now we got ourselves a Vengeful, come on man, focus. There we go. Vengeful Rebirth, uh, Whispers, nothing. Okay, next pack, let's see what we can do here. So far, Mr. Mills has had rather good luck on our channel here, being a patron. Um, his boxes tend to be pretty darn good. Good Dragoon and a Vexing Devil. That guy's fun. Uh, Desperate Ritual, that's kind of a staple. Drake, Worm, okay. But yeah, Mr. Mills has uh, generally had pretty dang good luck when it comes to the stuff that that we open for him here so hopefully that continues we got a vengeful rebirth and we got a seize the day uh fiend hunter deck more okay that's kind of cool i like the deck more salvage and okay all right next pack here um nothing spectacular so far um well no i'm sorry engineer explosives that's a nice one to get um Price-wise or not, I mean, it's kind of like a, st it's a staple that fits into a lot of stuff. Uh, Angelic Renewal, and uh, we're just skipping right past the rare. Uh, we got a uh, Spoils of the Vault. And Boar Umbra, that's kind of cool, I guess. I like the Umbras, they're fun. Um, Voltron is a fun thing. Actually, it's built a Voltron EDH, it's pretty fun. All right, our rare is uh, Murderous. Man, out of focus. What is going on with you today, camera? Foil Murderous Red Cap. That's not too shabby. And then an All is Dust. Okay, not a bad pack here. Not a bad pack. Uh, another Boar Umbra and Burial Rites, I guess. All right. So, if you're interested in becoming a patron... There's a link down below. You can follow that and find out. We got a Mammoth Umbra, and hey, we got a Livold. Livold. That's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. That's a nice little hit there. All right. Uh, recovery, Circular Logic. I mean, that's not a great card. I personally like the card, though. I like it. Yeah, if you want to become a patron, to be able to open this good stuff, greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, it's just all sorts of good stuff, and we have lots of stuff, good stuff to give out. All right, we got a Spider Umbra, and we got a Containment Priest as our rare. Uh, Lava Spike, kind of a staple there. All right. In fact, we're going to be doing uh, some additions to our Patreon Build-A-Pack box here relatively soon, which actually you're going to see after this video, or after we're done opening this. Uh, Hero of... Uh, Aroas. Couldn't think of it. Uh, Disrupting Shoal. Okay. Uh, Murderous Red Cap. Ruin Thunder. Grave Strength. I mean, the Red Cap's kind of cool, I guess. Not really worth a whole lot, but... Alright, what do we got? We got a Nightbird's Clutches and... Squee. Uh, Jin Blast. Go Gary Thug. I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. All right, what do we got going next year? We got uh, Tethmos High Priest. I don't even know that card. And then we got a Reanimate. All right, rock on. Uh, songs, Devoted Druid. That was up there for a second. Rogue's Passage. Not a worth a whole lot, but it's fun. I love that card. Like, you're not going to block me. You shall pass. I shall pass. 
I don't know. I tried to come up with some kind of cool wizards. Lord of the Rings thing, they just kind of failed. All right, we got ourselves uh, Skywing Avon and a Raging Ravine. Is that the first man land we've seen? I think it is. Uh, Eternal Witness, that's kind of cool. Last pack of that second stack. Um, I mean, so far we're not doing bad, but uh, we could use a pick-me-up here. Uh, Goose back Marauders, okay. And then Daybreak Coronet. Counter Squall, that's fun. Yeah. Man, these packs are giving me some issues. And I'm doing my best to, like, not manhandle them open because, I mean, there could be some money in these. <sighs> Anywho, alright. We got a Terramorphic Expanse. And a stirring wildwood. All right, well, that's two man lands. Unsub mutation, necromancer. Okay. Oh, bump the camera again. I promise you, folks. As on my list of, of things to improve here, we got to work on getting a new rig. But after that, uh, new camera booms is going to be what it's all about. All right, we got a wicker borrow, wicker bow elder. There we go, and Tassiger. Uh, Boggle, Hunger, and Forbidden Alchemy. Did get a fire and ice. I just got bumped down. It's now a pauper staple. I mean, it's not a pauper staple yet, but I got a feeling that some decks are going to enjoy that card. Alright, our foil is Helioid's Pilgrim. Wow. And Lord... Of extinction. All right, there's our third mythic. Uh, typically, with these boxes, three is average. So uh, let's hope for foils. Good foils. All right, few packs left. All right. Uh, Another foil deck more so I think that's two foil deck more salvages. Uh and a desolated lighthouse. Uh another lava spike. Okay. Getting down to the nitty gritty here. Alright. Uh Moan of the Unhallowed and That shouldn't be in the set. I love Merfolk. Don't get me wrong. Love it. But that should not be in the set. Love my Merfolk. But man, that's just... It feels bad opening that. Okay, here we go. Here's our good one. Hey, foil Gurmag Angler. That's not too shabby. And then Visions of Beyond. Okay, okay. Uh... Deep Dell, Rally the Peasants. That's, yeah, that's, I mean, it's still a good one. And Ghoulsteed. All right, we got two packs left to make this magic happen. Foil Stirring Wildwood. I mean, I guess it's a foil rare, so, I mean, that's a thing, but. Uh, we did get a life from the loam, though. Okay, so that made it slightly better. Yeah, okay. All right. Last pack. Let's see what kind of stuff we can get. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. It is a foil snake ember. Okay, I guess we could. And a back to basics. All right. And hey, you got a young pyromancer. All right, well, that is the box for Marcus Mills. Congratulations, sir. Um, yeah, honestly, I don't know where we're at price-wise. Um, but hopefully, I mean, it could have been worse. Your box topper could have been Lava Claw Reaches. Um, and we did get some nice stuff in here. You got the Engineered Explosives, Vengevine, um, Leovold, that's kind of nice. Um, I don't know about Lord of Extinctions, where that's at. Um, but yeah, that's what we got for you here. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside now. We get to pull this out. This is our build-a-pack box. It's backwards. 
Uh, so we're going to grab Mr. Mills. Two rares. One and two. We've added some more to this. We're going to be opening more packs here soon. But we got two rares. A foil right out of the middle. Oh, almost forgot. A common or uncommon worth at least a buck. And then a random foil basic. We'll grab right there. And then we get ten out of the common slash uncommon slot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, and then he has chances. There are prize cards in the commons, uncommon slots. You can get extra foils, extra rares, extra packs, all, uh, all sorts of good stuff. So let's see what we got here. We got a deadly visit, uh, a, a, a foil fire elemental, a foil Keldon Raider, uh, Gateway Plaza, War Leader's Helix, War Priest of Thune, Trans Guild Promenade, Core Scythe Master, a Foil Academy Drake. He's just getting all the extra foils today. And a Sun Scorched Desert. Alright, his Foil Basic is. Uh, ooh, is that. That's from uh, Champions. The Swamp. Nice. Common or Uncommon. Uh, Brainstorm uh, from Commander. I, I can't remember what Commander it is, but Brainstorm's nice. Alright, our first. Oh, foil. I'm like, that's a different color red. Derp. Our foil is a foil volcanic dragon. Love foil dragons. I have a collection of foil dragons, just letting you know. Um, okay, first rare is going to be uh, Regna's Sanction. And then we got ourselves a uh, Kamal's Druidic Vow. All right, well, there you are, sir. There is your... Uh, build a pack box cards from this month uh, to go along with your spoils of war from your box um i said i'm gonna have to go go back through and check prices while i'm editing this i, I don't think we like knocked it out of the park uh but my fingers are crossed that's not too bad so we'll have to see once again marcus thank you very much uh for being a patron for supporting the channel uh in and, and just a little side note here, uh, Marcus supports us more than just uh, financially through Patreon, uh, you know, being a patron. Um, I've known uh, Marcus from before we started doing Patreon. Um, he is a really good guy, got an awesome channel himself. Um, but he is just, he's, he's kind of, he's one of those people in the community that's constantly picking people up and just kind of, he, he brings people up with him. I guess that, that's the best way to put it. He just does what he does, and people are better because of it. So uh, thank you very much, Marcus, for being a patron and doing all that you do. Um, and I just noticed I must have hit my camera because it is askew ex like crazy. I, I apologize, folks. There we go. Okay, I, I must have bumped something and something's loose now. I don't know. This is going to drive me nuts. Anyway, so we're just going to call that there. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching. If you like what you saw here, do us a huge favor. Click that like button subscribe hit the bell notification so we tell them you got new stuff coming out and then don't forget to check out our patreon so we can open this kind of awesome stuff up for you as well thank you very much for watching and oh i almost forgot the best part don't forget to share share this with your friends your family your loved ones and your pets everyone could use a little more magic in their lives thank you very much for watching as always you can find us on facebook and twitter chuck wagon MTG. Now do us one last favor and check out this brief message from the best gaming store in Michigan. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.